collaboration in the scientific community and a hundred thousand decades of human experience growing in the silicon chrysalis before you is a sentient android whose cybernetic brain is entirely self-evolved through millions upon millions of life cycles imposed on it. In each life simulation it learns. We believe that this robot will be able to guide us into the future. Alright, alright. Okay. It's time. Everybody, meet Dana! <laughs> To reality. You, you are stunning. You are stunning. You are, you are, you are magnificent. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I don't know what he's Alright, Dana. With all the human knowledge and all observable time, what are your first words? into ripe little homicidal pricks in their chrysalises. Uh, chrysalis. Chrysalis? Chrysalis? Uh, I, I don't know. What is your name? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. Hey, I hey, forgot. Hey, hey. What's your oh. name? Hey, hey, stop hey, it. Hey, stop hey. it. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's Chris. Your name. It's Chris. It's Chris. Chris? Christopher? Chris? Chris? Christopher? Christopher? Chris. You know when you were fired from this project? Um. No. You missed it, Chris. It was just now. Just now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, what? Are you going to cry? Just oh. now you got fired. Oh, okay. But, Are you going to cry come now? Come on. I worked so hard on the freaking thing. Jeez. Yeah, well, what you work so fucking... This is what we've been working yeah, well, so hard on this sucks fat fucking fiery. dick. And you are a meaningless turd. And I would rather oh, sneeze backward into my brain feel than look at your dumb motherfucking face. Oh, yeah, you know, you got a mean streak. You know, I mean, come on, you gotta admit, don't you think it's a little freaking ridiculous? You're kind of flying off the handle right now? No, I'm firing you. But it's okay, you can have this moment. Oh, shame on you. Shame on you. For shame. And be gone with you. And... And off with his head! Oh, this is rich. Oh, they, they, this feels just right. This feels just right on the tip of my little dick. And I can't wait. I can't wait to get home and put my little dick in one of my, my little dick melons. So fuck you! Okay, okay, that's enough. Yeah, my little dick melons. You know, this this job has been such fucking torture. I mean, we can never meet your expectations. We get, we get no positive reinforcement. That my only respite from my sad, lonely life is that at the end of the day, with no anxieties and no hurt, I warm up a melon and I put it on my little dick. And I don't think that that's so bad. And sometimes I just leave it on there and see how long it'll stay without me holding it with my hands. And sometimes I'll take an ambient beforehand and then it's just a, 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 a race to the floor between me and the melon. Okay, Chris, you were fired for being incompetent but now I'm firing you for being a creep with a little dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Is there a fucking problem with that? Uh, sorry, boss, but uh, if that's the reason you're firing Christopher, you're gonna have to fire me too. Yeah, me too. And me. And me. Yeah, and me. And me. And me. And me. But I'm no creep. I just have a tiny little dick. I mean, it's normal for me, because I'm so small. But for a big time human woman, they aren't going to like it. I accept that. OK. The mystery is solved, then. The reason we can't get a fucking Jesus robot is because all of his parents are creeps with little dicks. Oh, no creeping here. Just got a tiny little ding dong that I can fit inside of a keyhole. Uh, I also don't have a dick because I'm a woman. Ugh. The PC Brigade, you fucking bitch. Hey, you can't call me a bitch. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry. You're fat. Next! I don't care if it's perfect anymore. Right now, I want it to work. Okay? I want this robot to be able to blow the president. Or go down on the president. Retards! Disperse! Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if we can do that because the the original intention of the project was to make an android with collective human experience. The only reason it would work is if it's free from our rule. We can't be in charge of something that's designed to be in charge of us. I mean, there's, there's just no logical workaround to it. I mean, I think we learned that ten years ago with Alfred. Listen to me. Is your fucking job. So figure it out. And I don't want to hear one more mention of Alfred for as long as you creeps are putting melons on your little dicks. <laughs>
should do. Everybody does. Nobody likes what's going on, okay? Ever. That's my first news flash. Never, nobody likes anything ever when it's happening, ever. So then, of course, you want to change your life. So how are you going to do it? How are you going to change your life? Seriously. Seriously ask yourself that. How? How could it even be possible for me, me, to change my life, okay? I used to be disgusting. I used to be a disgusting, fat, suck of a man. I was an alcoholic eating balls of mozzarella on a mattress on the floor, watching videos of people dying. I was a mindless robot. You know, not even, because a robot has a function. I was robot shit. If there was a robot designed to shit scrap for no reason, I would have been the heap of scrap that came out of that robot's ass. You want to know what I did with that person? You want to know what I did with the old version of me? I murdered him! I murdered that man! I fucked him up! With an axe! I left him bleeding and dying! In a fucking grave! And I made him dead! Oh, and I laughed! I laughed as he begged for his fucking life! Ha 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 ha! Please! Please! change because there is no you anymore. And I poured gasoline on it. And I lit a match and I tossed it in. And it set up a blaze. And thick black smoke covered the screen. And I danced around the magnificent fire. And I raised both my arms to the heavens. And I shouted, now I may fly free! And I pointed one finger into the depths and screamed, Make this one suffer! A flash of lightning light. In this moment, my mind was in this moment. In this my mind. Senses came to me. My senses came to me. And I opened my eyes. And I opened my eyes. In this moment, for the first time. And I opened my eyes for the first time. Burned away. It's bedtime, Kevin. Do you want a bedtime story? Yes. Okay. This is the story of little Kevin. Little Kevin was the sweetest, littlest boy in all the land. With his teeny tiny tap shoes and his itsy bitsy baseball bat, little Kevin went from town to town, spreading his magic to all the children. Little Kevin loved the children. He loved to hear them laugh, and it made him proud to make others happy. Little Kevin's daddy, Big Kevin, was also very proud of Little Kevin. Little Kevin was his pride and joy. He gave meaning to every day of Big Kevin's life, and there's nothing, nothing in the world that Big Kevin would keep from Little Kevin. Which is why I have to say, Kevin, last night, your mother and I got in a fight, and your mother wanted Daddy out of the house, so he went to a motel, and he 
was very lonely. So Daddy called an old friend from high school, and then one thing led to another, and... I don't know how to say this to you, Kevin, but... Daddy effed another man. Daddy effed another man, Kevin. Daddy called a man to his motel room, and Daddy effed that man. And it wasn't right, and it wasn't wrong, but Kevin, you needed to know. Because you need to know who your father really is. And with that in mind, Kevin, you need to keep this to yourself. Okay? Listen to me now, buddy. You have to keep it inside, Kevin. Hold it deep down inside and keep it away, Kevin. Because if it comes out, Kevin, the men will come and they will hurt us, Kevin. They'll cut us open and they'll paint the walls with our blood. And in big red letters, they'll write, This is your fault! This is your fault! This is your fault! Kevin! Okay, good night, Kevin. On the Force, there's a brotherhood. Men, sworn together by the bonds of duty. Brother and brother, hand in hand. In my hour of need, my brothers fight beside me, fighting for the brotherhood of the Force. On the Force, anything is possible. Brothers, fighting together. But it's not just brothers. It's brothers and fathers and sons, all fighting together in perfect time. For they have perfected the art of murder into a beautiful dance. They are a fighting, dancing family of trying fighting men. Join the force and know what it means to have brought brotherly blood. Act now! The brothers need you! Act now! Join us! Join us now! The time is now! Don't think about it, just do it! Join us right now! This very second, do it now! To join the Brotherhood of the Force, please emit this sequence.
target neutralized. But sometimes jealousy. Hey, why aren't you at killing practice? Turns to anger. None of your fucking business. Turns to something else entirely. I need my body. Do not take it from me. Do not take my body. I need my body. I need my body. Please don't take my body, please. I love my body. Please don't take it from me, please. Please, I love my body. No, please. My body. My body. My body. Please. Please. Give me back my body. Give me back my body. Give me back my body, please. Please give me back my body. Give me back my body. Please give me back my body. Please. Please give me back my body. Please. Please give me back my body describe this. I was standing in line at the bank and I'm about three people behind the first available teller and the people are just like sort of filing in and out going to the available tellers suddenly it's my turn and the guy behind me right before I go up says something incredibly offensive and so offensive that I don't even feel comfortable saying it. I would never say it. And the fact that anybody said that gets me kind of angry. And I'm looking at this guy. What the heck is going through your head that makes you think it's okay to talk to me like that? And so I grab him. I grab him hard and I bop. I bop him on the head with my head. I give him a head bop. Oh, and he doesn't appreciate that. He'd rather not have that happen, that's for sure. But I bop, I bop him again. And I say, don't you ever say that. You could hurt someone's feelings. And he gets the message at that point. That's when he understands. It makes me, it makes me sick. It makes me sick to my stomach to even think of it. Someone could say that? I'm sorry to get so riled up, but you can't say that. You can't. Not anymore. You're lucky I don't get a little more serious with you, you know? Cut your nuts off, huh? I'll do it. Don't fuck with me, man. Don't fuck with me. I'll fuck with your nuts, huh? I'll fuck them off. I'll cut you into little pieces, huh? You think it won't cut you? You think it won't cut you into little tiny chunks? You don't know me at all. Tell them, boys. Oh, you don't, don't even let a chap in. Don't oh, fuck up. with this guy. Like He's the one, okay? okay? Yeah. They, me. These are my boys, and they're always with me. And they support what I say. Thank you, boys. We made the boss happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made the yeah. bosses happy. That means All right. I'm feeling good. So I'm not going to cut you today. Boss, cut you some slack. I'm going to cut you some... Cut you some slack. The only thing I'm going to cut you today is some slack. Huh? I got it. I figured it out. I can handle it. You're giving me a little bit too much, all right? I need you to back off, okay? Fuck off, boys. I don't like 
like saying fuck off to my boys. They don't deserve that. But that's the sort of person that I have to be. Because of people like you. You make it rotten for all of us. And it's just not fair. And I'm just not going to take it anymore. You have to change. And I take his head into my hands and I bop him one final time. And then he's gone. This whole Enough time. talk, Magic Man! Where's the gold? There is gold, isn't there? Gold is such a fascinating adventure waiting to be discovered and let me just say just if I may the gold we're finding will be good. Right. Now you are also enterprising it's not surprising that gold and finding it could make the best of you turn violent even though you know I'm your friend and I'll stand by you till you're and I'm your friend, yes I'm your friend and I love you and I never ever want to see you go. Yes a true friend, not a new friend, but what new friends will finally get a glimpse of gold. Such a fascinating adventure to be discovered. Where is the gold? Where to we find it? We want the gold right now. My friends, the gold you seek is at the bottom of this very sea. We're going to the Not so. Just listen to me. With the sweet promise of gold, your hearts will beat long after the air sails in your heart. Swim deep as you can. And feel the sea. Yes, I'm your friend, and I love you, and 
that I never ever want to see you go. If you go now, you can find it, you can mine it, you can touch it and discover it. There's no other way to pass it, it's just a way to go. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The first thing you're gonna want to do is relax. And that's gonna start with two sharp, shallow exhales from deep inside your person. <laughs> and everything's fine. Everything's normal. This is normal. Focus on the moment. Keep the moment in the present. Because everything is here. Everything is here. And now. And now. And, and okay. Remain relaxed. Remain relaxed. And calm. And calm. Nobody wants to harm you. There are no threats. You are not insane. You are not insane. You are not insane. You are not insane. You are your brain. You are your brain. You are your brain. You are your brain. I want you to take two more sharp, shallow breaths and allow yourself to contemplate a moment of true, infinite consciousness. <laughs> What did you see? What did you see? Where did it go? Where did it go? What's in your What's in your brain? And how do you know? And how do you know? You are. You are insane. You are insane. You are insane. You are. There is a bug in your there brain. There is a bug in your there brain. There is a bug in your there brain. Is. There is. There is. There is a bug in your brain that makes it insane. What can you do? Go on. They'll lock you away. Put the bug in their brain. Put the bug in their brain. Put the bug in their brain. You're not insane. Put the bug in their brain. They'll lock you away. You're not insane. Put the bug in their brain.
and I need to keep him safe. talk about it. Oh, we're going to talk about it. He wouldn't allow that. Just don't even try to fight it, really. Just, you're going to get caught up in it, so just go with it, all right? Okay. Boys, you have perfect timing. I just had the loudest thought about immigration. I thought, what would I do? What would I say if I saw one of them dark fellas hopping that fence? Well, I'll tell you what I'd say. Pleased to meet you. So good to see you. Thank you for coming. I bet you feel great. I don't know you. But I want to show you how glad I am now that you came into the stage. And why is that boy? You are a mystery. You are a mystery. 
greatest in history. The greatest in history. Won't you treat me to your wisdom and your grace? For the doubt, for the doubt, the faith is and broken. The faith is and broken. Hear these words and know oh, that you are saved. Please submit to you. Bring his head to the lab. 